Although we know that the world is large and there is still much to learn about our own planet, we also know that the universe is even larger, and so much of it seems out of reach. Despite what seems like an impossible task, researchers and astronomers continue to seek and find new information about the planets and galaxies that exist so far away from ours. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three recent discoveries. The Heartbeat Signal In December of 2019, astronomers discovered what is being described as a strange and persistent radio signal evidently coming from a galaxy several billion light-years away from Earth. Although they had detected many of these radio frequencies with various lengths and at various times, this one was different. It was consistent, repetitive, and unlike anything found before. Not only was the heartbeat signal consistent and repetitive, it was also longer than any detected before. Scientists recorded that it lasted about 3 seconds and repeated in 0.02 second intervals. Labelled FRB 20191221A, these fast radio bursts are unlike any of the others. It's believed that this signal and signals detected from newer and improved technologies and telescopes can provide access to parts of the universe that have not been reached yet. Scientists, astronomers and researchers from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and McGill University in Canada have utilized the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment to detect these signals, which are called fast radio bursts. It's an interferometric radio telescope that is sensitive to FRBs and is therefore used to track and to detect their occurrences in the sky. The first time an FRB was ever discovered was about 15 years ago in 2007. Since then, many radio signals have been detected, but unlike this heartbeat-like signal, they were very random and inconsistent. These FRBs were flashes, short and scattered, and coming from unknown sources an extremely long distance away. The closest an FRB ever came to being periodic was a signal discovered to repeat every 16 days. And still, these fast radio bursts were not very consistent. The source of these FRBs is unknown, meaning scientists can only postulate the origins of these signals. It's believed that FRBs may be emanating from radio pulsars or magnetars, neutron stars that are the dense and rapidly spinning cores of what were once giant stars that have since collapsed. CHIME has detected many different kinds of FRBs with varying properties and surroundings. Some live inside turbulent clouds and some seem to be in clean environments. Other than this information, not much else is known about where these FRBs come from, and all that is known of the origins of this new heartbeat signal is that it appears to be coming from a source that is surrounded by plasma clouds. This discovery is significant because it not only tells us that there is much more to learn about the universe than we know, but because it can be an indicator of what else is happening beyond our world. The Vortices Near Jupiter's North Pole We have all seen the beautiful images captured by NASA of the other planets, and it's always astounding when a new, clearer image is revealed to the public. But what you might not have known is that these photographs are not just beautiful, they also serve to provide very important information about the planets, and this has never been truer as in the case of the new pictures of Jupiter, which have allowed for the discovery of vortices near the planet's North Pole. NASA recently captured a new photograph of the planet through its JunoCam instrument, showing vortices near the North Pole that look as though they have been painted by watercolour. However, this deceitfully calming and alluring image is actually a culmination of chaotic and tumultuous storms that frequent and indeed make up the planet of Jupiter. The storms are hurricanes with wind patterns that can reach speeds of up to 30 miles in height and are spread across hundreds of miles of gaseous plains. Furthermore, the colours that we see are edited to enhance what we can perceive of the planet's atmosphere and surface. The gorgeous images NASA provides are often slightly altered and coloured in order to show the depths and shapes of Jupiter's storms, which would otherwise not be as clear and evident. The new photograph was taken at about 15,600 miles above Jupiter's cloud tops. 
It was then digitally altered and enhanced by scientist Brian Swift for the purposes of revealing these Jovian storms and analyzing them. So while there are some pictures of Jupiter that look blue and others that are more reddish, in reality, the actual color of the spirals seen in those pictures are actually dependent on their directions and chemistry. The color palettes of these storms differ depending on whether they are moving clockwise or counterclockwise in the planet's northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere. Jupiter's great red spot, for example, is a storm in the southern hemisphere that moves counterclockwise. Besides the fascinating color schemes, scientists are interested in learning more about Jupiter's stormy weather and finding more information about Jovian clouds and the fluid dynamics in the planet's atmosphere. With the advancement of technology has come the incredible power to discover more about what lies beyond, in the seemingly unreachable parts of the universe. A question that has been on scientists' and astronomers' minds is whether there can be planets like Earth, and whether those planets can be habitable for humans and other living creatures. Using what is called gravitational microlensing, scientists and astronomers have been searching for such planets and trying to derive whether Earth-like planets can form in different environments than Earth itself. In this method, the light of a farther star will often be magnified by a closer star that passes in front of it. In cases where this is a planet orbiting the closer star, the light of the background star will be altered and distorted, letting scientists know of the planet's existence. Using alternative methods can be tricky, as the light of the second star can often complicate the interpretation of data. With gravitational microlensing, however, researchers observe how the planet's gravity affects a distant, unrelated star, leading to more accurate data. In this way, they can detect other planets and then compare them to those in our solar system, particularly Earth. As it turns out, planets similar to Earth can and do exist. In 2014, four international teams, led by Professor Andrew Gould of The Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio, published the discovery of such a planet discovered in a binary system more than 3,000 light-years away from Earth. A binary system contains two stars, and despite the fact that these two stars were not very far apart, the planet was found to be orbiting one of them at a distance similar to that of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. Because the planet's host is smaller than the Sun, it is also colder, rendering it uninhabitable. But the existence of the planet is significant, giving scientists information about how and where these planets can form and be found. Were it not for the size of its host star, the planet's orbit is at a distance referred to as the habitable zone, an area where life could exist under the right conditions. This planet's mere existence is an incredible find. The positioning that it has in relation to the star it orbits, and the fact that it was found in a binary system, is something that has never been seen. Before finding this planet, researchers admitted that they often dismissed the possibility of finding planets in binary systems because of its unlikelihood. In previous instances, evidence was found of planets forming in binary star systems, but none of those planets were similar to Earth. Now, however, Researchers know to pay more attention to these systems, as they can give important data about the formation and orbits of such planets. This discovery is an exciting step towards the discovery of planets that are habitable for life. The potential for finding such planets seems to have expanded beyond the initial presumptions that researchers and scientists previously had. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.